Comey here with this week's edition of Travel Oregon's Grants Getaways. And as you can hear, we've really gone to the dogs this week with an exciting outdoor adventure you may have missed. We've come to Mount Bachelor, a wonderful playground this time of year, and we found a dog sled team. We're going to take you out and show you what it's all about to run with the dogs. <laughs> Jerry Sidoris has more best friends than any mountain of a man could wish for. 130 four-legged friends, to be exact. Frankly, what the dogs are, high-class, high-priced mutts from the Athabascan Indian villages and the Inupiaq Eskimo villages of Alaska. The best dogs in the world are from Alaska. And each husky sled dog is right at home in snow and biting wind. That's everyday scene at Sedoris' Oregon Trail of Dreams sled dog camp at Mount Bachelor. They've been doing this for thousands of years. It's like, why do birds fly, why do fish swim, you know? We use aluminum, inch and a half by two inch aluminum rectangle tubing. Dave Sims designs and builds all the equipment, including toboggan style sleds that carry up to 600 pounds. Plenty of room for dad, mom, and a couple of kids. They're safe, they're sturdy. They're comfortable for people to sit in for sure. You can fill them up, you know, heaping to the top. So you can haul a lot of gear in them. So they're super, super strong. <laughs> This is going to be my sled. My lovely bride is going to join us, but you'll notice there are two places to stand. I'm going to actually have a chance to drive the sled. Can't wait. <laughs> it's time to go. Hey! These are world-class racing dogs, Iditarod dogs. Hey! See, what we're doing here is we're losing about 750 feet of elevation in about three and a half miles. On the way down, our whole goal is to slow them down. It starts out fast and exhilarating, you know, and I think it surprises people how fast and how powerful these little dogs are. A lot of folks have sled dog dreams, you know. They've uh, read Jack London as adolescents and have just had it in their brain that they want to go for a sled dog ride. That's how I started, you know, decades ago. Jerry is in his 18th season at Mount Bachelor, but he has been a professional musher for over 30 years. <laughs> That's a world-class head-on pass. <laughs> He's covered 100,000 Alaska wilderness miles with his teams, and he likes to say the dogs are experts in motion. Whoa. Since you've had your introduction back there, are you ready to go for a sled dog ride? I'm always ready when you're with me. <laughs> okay. Okay, put your right foot on the runner. Now, bend down, pick it up, straight up and say, hey! hey! This is a blast. Okay, good. This then. is cool. This is what it is. This is so cool. And they quiet down immediately. They get so quiet so fast. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? There's nothing like this. I mean, think about it. Can you relate it to anything? No. It's the most unique thing to do. The deep powder offers a storybook landscape perfect for speeding through narrow trails in a deep pine forest. The boughs bent low from a fresh powdery blanket and a certain peaceful feeling that out here, even for an hour or so, all is right with the world. The people are always having fun. They come here to have a good time. The dogs always have a good time. Full of enthusiasm, never ends. And how can you not have fun and how can you not enjoy your job when you're around people that are here to have a good time and dogs that are that enthusiastic and that energetic? 
Jerry and his crew would love to show you what dog mushing is all about. We have all the contact information, the details, and directions on the Travel Oregon website. Check it out. And until next week, get out here and make your own outdoor adventures. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McCombie.